you know, it's been my great pleasure to be a part of the Georgia Chamber since 1999. And one of the reasons, or the main reason, I would say, that led me to decide to join and become involved is the need for small business to have a voice on the statewide level. Small businesses, I think, many times are primarily focused on the local level, but so many of the decisions made on the state level, whether it be policy or legislative issues, have a direct impact upon the future successes of the small businesses in the state. And if you look at the Georgia Chamber, the membership itself is some 60%, which is considered small business. And then if you take it a level further and look at the state of Georgia as a whole, depending on what number you use in terms of employees, but anywhere from 85 to 95 percent of businesses are, are actually classified as small business. If you look at that then and think about, well, well, who is out there looking out for that small business person? And I'll tell you who that person is. It is the Georgia Chamber of Commerce. The Georgia Chamber, through their legislative work, through their policy work, through so many areas in this state, work directly on issues that impact small businesses, whether it be tax reform, whether it be competitiveness issues, education, workforce development. So many of those issues directly impact that small business person who is out there every day trying to be successful. Now, these businesses, people like myself, don't have the resources to go out and hire our own lobbyists, have people here in the state um, looking out for us on a daily basis. But through a very small investment, you're able to do that through the Georgia Chamber of Commerce.